John the Mouse. I'm going to start out by saying if I get anything wrong or forget to mention something important, please comment on the video for all of us to learn more. In this video, I'm going to look into Enigma for a cloak coin. Enigma tech is similar to Dash, but the main difference is cloak coin doesn't use centralized master nodes for mixing the coins. In cloak coin, everyone can be a master node with a computer. Enigma is a key part of the underlying framework along with cloak shield. These two systems work hand in hand with each other. I think it's like the old Enigma machines of the past sending a coded message. First you have to scramble your message with the Enigma machine to send to the other person. The other person would need to unscramble the message using the Enigma machine. Let's look at a simple code. We will code it and then uncode this very simple code. We could make it harder by having a new key for every letter. Enigma is at the heart of Cloakcoin's decentralized off-blockchain mixing service, which allows users on Cloakcoin network to transmit Cloak privately and securely to each other. The mixing process is secure and untraceable to third-party observers. This keeps your cloak coin safe during the transfer. With this process, you cannot be tied or associated with sender or receiver. I know what you're thinking. Will my coins make it there? The coins are never transferred to the intermediate party during cloaking, so your coins remain safe. Anyone with cloak coins can participate in the cloaking operations. That's where I think cloak coin shines over Monero. They only involve mixing addresses with a small number of other participants, which could generate privacy gaps. I'm sure all coins in this crypto area are working hard to fix this area. Let's move on. Enigma guarantees fungibility. This means all coins being equal and interchangeable. Why is this important? Let's compare Bitcoin's blockchain that's out in the open for everyone to see. Let's say this Bitcoin you got was used for an illegal purpose in the past. Used on uh, online gambling or some other purpose deemed unfit by the company that you want to use it at. Now, this coin you have is limited use to you now. That's not to say you can't find another place to use it at. You can see how this could be a big problem in the future. One Bitcoin can be broken down into a million bits today, but that can be broken up more down the road if needs to be. Now, if you have this person that gets convicted or something they did five years ago, that happen to uh, have used this coin, you may have thousands affected now. That might be what you're counting on to, you know, pay your house, car, rent payment. Now the company won't take it. Just something to think about. I'm sure that's why the cloak team is working hard on making it free to get everyone using Enigma to cloak every transaction that is a plus for everyone. It helps make the network more secure with more transactions with the cloak mixing. Now is cloak the only coin that has fungibility? No, it's not. There's other coins that have their own version of the, the Enigma. But you can see how it could be important that it does have this feature. As all coins grow in use, the code will be tweaked to make them perform better, faster, and cheaper. 
Just remember, you can lose money and coins in every move you make. Do not rush in. Learn from your mistakes. Always use a small test coin when trying a new wallet. Please be careful of pumpers that are online. Any crypto can go to zero. Remember, it is just a speculation that wants to be a new digital fiat money. And yes, I have bought into the high, thinking it would go a bit higher. I have also lost coins, transferring them to different wallets on exchanges. As you can see, I'm no expert, just learning as I go. More research is needed. I am giving you my full disclosure. I am not a financial advisor. I am not getting paid from Cloakcoin. I do have a Cloakcoin wallet. If you'd like to spread some coinage my way, I would always cherish your generosity. Thank you for watching my video. I do have more for you to view. Just press on the button. And if you'd like to subscribe to stay up to date, you can push that button too.